Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Gitgood at Open Rollcast Tycoon 2. Now, I have made a tutorial earlier on hiding supports, but uh, back then I didn't know a method to hide wooden supports above water without using uh, custom scenery, and I found a way to do that. Also, that video had an annoying buzz on the background because some, uh, of some problems I experienced with my microphone. So, in this video I will recap all the methods to hide your uh, supports. Now there's two uh, types of uh, supports. So some uh, roller coasters or uh, objects have these wooden type supports, and there's the steel type supports that uh, most steel roller coasters use. Now what's the difference between these supports? Uh, well, the biggest difference is that, uh, for example, when you place uh, an item below the steel type supports, which uh, which cannot have any uh, supports over it, uh, the supports will just disappear. While as in the wooden track, uh, you can see it will just extend downwards until the gardens in this example. Now, one way to hide your supports uh, that works for both types is to select the element in the uh, tile inspector and just move it in the below uh, surface in the order, in the drawing order. So now you can see uh, this track piece that didn't get any of its uh, supports drawn. This is a reliable uh, method of hiding your supports over land. If you do this over water, um, you may notice that uh, your track pieces may appear and disappear at points. You can see it actually becomes quite glitchy. So above water, you should never use uh, the tile, this tile inspector method to uh, hide your supports. Uh, another me method of uh, hiding your supports is by using a custom scenery item called uh, a support blocker. Well, you, you will automatically get the, these if you open uh, any maps with custom scenery because a lot of them have this item in the in the bench. So let me turn on custom scenery items and then you get the small scenery. You can you see I have uh, several of these supports. They're all invisible items. I will now just use uh, one of them. Now if I take this uh, object here, the support blocker, I can put it here under the steel track and the support will disappear. For the wooden uh, track, well, you can see it draws the supports until it finds the support blocker. So, in order to uh, fix that for the wooden supports, we just take the support blocker and we raise the base height until it's above the coaster. And you can see all the supports uh, disappear. This uh, method also works above water. So if you have access to uh, custom scenery and there's a support blocker in the bench, you can reliably hide your uh, supports above water using this method. Now, it could be that you don't have access to uh, custom scenery, but you still want to hide your uh, wooden supports above water. Well, for the steel track, that's easy. You just place a garden under the coaster and you lower the base height until the garden is under surface and the supports are gone. For a wooden coaster this uh, will not work because you can place a garden under it but if you move the base height it will just draw the supports uh, lower. So this method doesn't work for wooden coasters. Uh, previously I didn't know of a method to uh, hide your wooden supports uh, above water without having access to custom scenery. So I found a method to, uh, to actually do this. Um, you do it by putting a mini suspended coaster under the, under the wooden coaster. As you can see now, the supports for the wooden coaster are gone. Uh, you they still do have some uh, steel supports from the mini suspended coaster. But as you know, the steel supports we can just remove. Uh, by putting a guard under them and lowering it below the surface. And that's how you uh, 
reliably remove wooden supports uh, above water. It also works in uh, curves, in bends. You can simply uh, curve the mini suspended goatsy track as well. Of course, you do see the mini suspended coasted track here in the curve. But you can uh, simply solve that by uh, recoloring it. It's quite annoying how glitchy this piece is. There. <laughs> Alright, let's also uh, hide this support now. Alright. And if we now just uh, recolor this uh, mini suspended coaster, it's almost uh, un invisible. Alright, that was everything for this uh, tutorial on hiding supports. I hope this uh, will be useful for you, because uh, hiding supports is one of the tricks that uh, people frequently uh, do in their parts. And if you uh, try to create something nice, it will probably be something you'll want to do at some point as well. Alright, uh, that was everything all for this uh, episode, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!